My name is Bill Knott Jr. I've been a police officer for 38 consecutive years, uh, 28 years in an urban police department. Uh, since then, uh, retiring and moving on to the PD that I'm in now, which is Ledger, Connecticut PD. It's a rural town, uh, so I've had the best of both worlds, urban and uh, rural. During that time, I've uh, been in K-9 for over 30 years, training dogs and training K-9 teams in advanced uh, tactical patrol, as well as training police officers in those same procedures. Okay, approximately a year ago, um, I was introduced to the Vector Shield. Uh, we did a school in the state of Rhode Island with uh, police officers from three different states. I went through the Vector Shield instructor course. Since then, I've carried one in my cruiser uh, with me. In the last year, I've deployed it no less than a dozen times. During that time, it's provided me the versatility and safety that a bigger shield would not, simply because we don't have enough to put in every cruiser. But if this is accessible, cops will use it. If it's not accessible, they won't use it. So attic peaks, car checks, any place you want to stick your head, this is going to be in front of it. Any type of barrier you can place between yourself and a bad guy that can be ballistic as well is without a doubt a necessity for, a, for any patrol officer. Car stops, it's great. It's great on the approach. Um, if someone was to stick a firearm or a blunt or a sharp instrument out the window, it's a defensive tool, it's a barrier. It can be used as an impact weapon if you choose to do so and you're justified to do so. As you're walking away, it gives a barrier, whether you're backing up or walking sideways back to your car. Anything that you can, you can put, yourself, put between you and the bad guy is going to help you. Critical distance is very important to surviving on the street. I can reach this uh, shield sitting next to me in the cruiser in less than two seconds. I can have it up and protecting me in that time from a sitting position in the cruiser. The shield and a domestic dispute, to me, the approach is very important. We deal with a lot of animals in our community. Not all are tied up. Not all have electric fences. So it can safely get me to the house. I can use it as a barrier for any type of, of dog that, or animal that approaches me. Um, I can also bring it in the house if, in fact, the threat assessment dictates I do. Uh, and it can become very valuable, especially when searching tight quarters or trying to get someone to come downstairs, come out of a bedroom. You know, you can only hide behind so many sheetrock walls before they're going to figure out they can shoot through it. Now, how many eight uh, departments are using the Vector Shield in Connecticut and Rhode Island? Connecticut and Rhode Island right now, I'd say there are probably eight to ten PDs that are using the Vector. How do they like it? They like it. Not one complaint. A9 guys love it. Their backup guys can carry it. Uh, it's Like I say, it's versatile. It's light. There's no fatigue in using this. You can reload your weapon safely with it. Um, it's just a very practical tool for our, for our canine guys.